Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a tight finish, but here comes Giants manager, Bruce Bocci, yeah! This past weekend, I made the trek out west to race the Giants half marathon in the Windy City, the Big Apple, San Francisco, California. The following is a recap of my weekend, which includes my check-in to the hotel, a little pre-race shakeout adventure slash being the best tourist possible, and finally, some post-race reporting. Enjoy! I just got back from a treadmill workout. Boom! Hello, San Francisco! Whenever I stay at a hotel, priority number one is checking the safe. You never know if somebody left something valuable. So let's see if we lucked out. Mm, no dice. Darn it. Premium internet. Boom. Sutro Tower. City Hall. My old office. Woo-wee. Carl the Fog. Nice. What the heck am I going to be racing in? Woo-hoo-hoo-wee. The Zoom Streak 6. Redonkously light. Fresh colors. What a shoe. So. Welcome to the rock. Alcatraz. Challenge accepted. White Tower. Lombard Street. Alcatraz. What up? Golden Gate. People come to San Francisco for that fresh city air. Yum. Transamerica building. You can see. They've reconstructed the tip after the incident in Mission Impossible 4 where a nuclear warhead almost took out the entire west coast. Good on you guys. Closed. Damn it. But that's a pretty good read. Fisherman's Wharf where you can buy normal things for a 25% upcharge. Ferry building. Boom. Puppies. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Woo. Race is done. I only live by one rule, and that is never finish a race within the single seconds after the last minute because you get bragging rights if you can round down. But unfortunately, I ran 110.06, so I just missed my goal, darn it. And I'm supposed to be cooling down with somebody, so I gotta go quickly. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, my bag's in there, I'll be right back inside. Yeah, I'll be back in like two minutes. Thank you though, I appreciate it. Went out in 525 with a buddy of mine. Rule number one, always run a race to somebody else. Makes it go so much more quickly. Started catching people on the hills because guess what? Trail runners are better at climbing than most other people. Got to the turnaround, finally got out of the wind and had a nice tailwind all the way to the finish. Almost ran over a couple people because with three miles to go, you start overlapping with the 10K runners, but survived it. Started closing on second, but ran out of space. Really, really positive day. 519 average, which is way faster than I expected to go. We got mimosas waiting for us. We gotta cool down. It's gonna be a great day. Oh, AT&T Park, we out.
post race olives and broccoli. Hi, Maka Show subscribers. That's all I got. Thank you. So, as they say in the running community, to the third place finisher goes a smaller amount of spoils. So, what did we get today? Number one, a Bruce Bocce bobblehead. Oh, yeah. You do not get that in an ultra race. Hey, sweet, we run SF. Check this out. Third place, top overall male. Third place, top overall male. Something does not add up there, but I'm gonna take it. Oh, I'm sorry. Free Costco snacks, boom. More snacks, boom. Even more snacks, whoop. A Giants medal. What I got special was $50 of credit to the Giants store. Now this is not the official San Francisco Giants store, it is the San Francisco race store. So it is all race apparel. $18 bandana, sweet, and a singlet that is a women's medium. So mom, happy early birthday. Oh, and I forgot to mention another dry fit. Woo! Papa, happy Thanksgiving present. This $50 of race credit is actually more than the winner of UTMB got, so count your blessings, folks. Count your blessings. Why do I run? For the awesome post-race swag, baby. Bruce Bocci bubble.